<laughs> Quiet on the set, everybody. <laughs> Stand by. Rolling. Hi, this is Nina Simons from Spices of Life. Steve, stop smiling. And um, I can't help it. This is the cell phones off. <laughs> Hi, this is Nina Simons for Spices of Life, and this is the best dumpling recipe ever, version two. This is my quick method when I need dumplings on the go instantly. So, the first thing you do is go to the store. And for these, actually, I went to Chinatown, and uh, these are vegetable pork and leek dumplings. And I, I do have to do a little plug. This is a company, it's out of Taiwan, Weichuan, and I lived with this family when I went to, to live in Taiwan. Isn't that amazing? So, what we're gonna do, really easy, one, two, three. Take them out of the freezer, snip them open. We have a non-stick frying pan here. That's the key to no stick pot stickers, and we're adding some olive oil, virgin olive oil, not extra virgin, virgin, and you want the pan, once again, it's one of those non-stick no-nos. I heat it, um, but they tell you don't heat the pan. And get your oil really hot, and then all we're going to do is, and you can actually do this on a plate, you want to unstick them, and we're just going to line them up right in the pan. Actually, what I usually do is pour them in, and then just arrange them once they're in the pan. I mean, this is the real easy method, except they're sticking together. So you want to try and maybe just break them apart. And then what we're going to do is arrange them in the pan, with the flat side down. But if for some reason it doesn't work out that way, don't worry, they're still going to look quite beautiful when they come out. You have to remember to breathe and, and be mindful about what you're doing. You know, a lot of people are afraid of high heat. You shouldn't be afraid of high heat because you can always adjust the heat by moving the pan on and off the burner. So I think they're a nice golden brown. So what we're gonna do is add three quarters of a cup of water, and we need a lid. And we're going to let them cook now. These are going to cook, and then we're gonna partially uncover it so the water will evaporate, and we'll get the bottom crisp again. So, go out, breathe, Water your flowers, do whatever you need to, or maybe get your dipping sauces, and that's one thing that I didn't mention. I like to serve my dumplings with dipping sauces. The dumpling sauces will be posted on the web, spicesoflife.com. This is going to cook for about maybe four or five minutes, just to cook them through. Remember, they were frozen, so we want them to cook completely through. What you want to look for is to see that the, the inside, the skin is translucent. And these aren't quite done yet. So we're going to keep them going. Okay, we just want to make sure, look at that, to get rid of that. I'm just going to cover that. It doesn't yeah. take very long. Because they're frozen, they're taking a little bit longer. The great thing, too, is that these can be done ahead, and then you can just reheat them in your microwave. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but why not, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, everybody wants to do things ahead. Nobody wants to do things at the last minute. And then you can reheat them the next day. They're excellent reheat. Okay, so we can see the water has evaporated. Now, what we want to do is we're going to crisp up the bottom again. So it's important to take off the lid and continue frying. Just to pan sear the bottom. And notice that I'm frying them with a spatula just to make sure that they don't stick. You don't want your dumplings to stick. 
Okay, I think they're good. And finally, we're going to take a plate and invert them. And voila, there they are. Gorgeous pan-seared spots, pot stickers, just for you. So this is Nina Simons for Spices of Life and enjoy and breathe. Inhale the aromas of your freshly made pot stickers. Thanks to our sponsor, Legal Seafoods. How was that? Oh. <laughs>